John here guys and today I'm here with a very special drone economics news update. Uh, so if you were hiding under a rock this past weekend was the big protest in Washington DC at the FAA headquarters to protest the proposed NPRM which is the remote ID proposal which would pretty much ground all flying hobby craft. I mean that is drones, wings, FPV, non-FPV, anything that flies pretty much. And so a lot of our uh, people, thanks to everyone who went, was a part of that protest. And special thanks to our patron saint of FPV, Terrence Howard, who joined the fray. One united church, a congregation of individuals, then they will be able to break us down. But as a church, as a united front, under the Freedom of Worship Act, we can stand and do everything that we need to do as a united body. Aww. And let's continue doing this from the angels' perspective. Check out Zorro or Bot Grinder's videos from the protest if you want to see what he had to say. He had some really encouraging things, saying that we need to act as a church of FPV and involve the participation of our entire congregation in order to save FPV. Now, along those same lines today. March 3rd, 2020, Tyler, CEO of Race Day Quads, made an announcement. I wanted to read just the first part of this. I'll put the entire post below so that you can read it. Today, this is what Tyler said. Today, I'd like to formally announce our intent to challenge the NPRM or any remote ID rule, which is unlawful or detrimental to the hobby in court. This week, we will begin the interview process with lawyers who specialize in this area and begin researching ways which we can effectively challenge or inhibit remote ID at this stage. We intend to issue the FAA a threat of suit, which will officially inform the FAA of our intent. Race Day Quads LLC versus the FAA. Should they pass any part of the NPRMM, which we perceive as unconstitutional? Now he goes into greater details in the post, which you can see below. But this is what we have all been waiting for. We have seen a lot of our designated leaders of this industry you know, encourage us to post, comment to the FAA. We've seen many go to the protests, which is all good, good things. I myself have commented and encouraged others to do so. I am coming from a STEM encouragement background. I really want to help FPV stay afloat because of the benefits to our youth, the benefits to our STEM programs, the benefits to our future technologists. But so far, no one has come forth ready and willing to put their money where their mouth is and how are things really moved forward in a modern day area yes our great country was founded on the right and the ability to protest and we got forth many governmental changes by that exact avenue in many many years and decades past but in modern times a lot of what is needed to enact change is to go through our legal system. And that is a costly um, endeavor. That is not a sprint, that is a marathon of effort. And so far the only folks that are ready to put their money where their mouth is, is Tyler CEO of Race Day Quads. So I congratulate you on that step. I think all of us in the comments were ready to announce our support of you. I'm hoping that some of the other big names in FPV will join this fight, either joining their cause or coming up with your own separate legal plans in order to push forward uh, and fight this as hard as we can. Um, one of the things that I've been disappointed with is our contributions to one of the big names in the hobby, which is the AMA. Everybody who participates in the multi-GP um, series of big races needs an M AMA membership. Now that costs 50, 60, 70, 75 dollars a year to have that membership. And the last multi GP had over a thousand people participate in that qualifier that would have had to have that. I don't know if this is going to be the way to go, but this is one proposed idea. We're just spitballing. We're not saying we're going to do it yet. But if all of those multi GP folks, if all of those freestyle folks, if all of those fixed wing folks would all take the money that they're going to give to the FDAA and 
put it towards this cause. Now, right now, Tyler is not asking for contributions yet. The best way that you can contribute towards this legal battle at this stage is to just continue shopping at race day quads and they will continue to use their profits um, in order to fight this cause. But they're estimating that this from beginning to end could cost upwards of a million dollars or potentially more. So if it comes to the point where they do have to start a GoFundMe, we can start earmarking those dollars to the side and have them ready to go should they need our help. And I am willing, if I have to, to forego any of those formal multi-GP races if multi-GP is unwilling to you know, remove themselves from that symbiotic relationship with the AMA because the AMA is not putting that power forward in order to fight for us in this way. If one of the companies is doing that, or a band of companies have decided to join forces, who's going to put their money where their mouth is and join him? That's what I'm very curious about. At this stage, though, really props to those guys over at Race Day Quads. Props to Tyler. And I'm hoping that a lot of the other shops will come forward. Stay tuned to this channel if you want to keep abreast of all the movements on this legal battle that we're about to embark on. And I will continue to hopefully add more and more shops, more and more names in big FPV, more and more companies to the list of the people that are contributing towards this cause. What do you think in the comments, guys? What are you ready to do? Contribute. I don't have any legal fees, but I'm willing to contribute. If you need anyone to speak on the merits of FPV and STEM, I'm ready. I'm available to go speak. I'm ready and available to write anything that you need submitted in writing. I'm ready to do whatever I can in order to help. I'm ready to take my AMA funds that I would have spent for 2020, put them towards a GoFundMe. That's what I'm ready to do. What are you guys going to do? Thanks. You have my sword. And you have my bow. And my axe.